Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Kenshi Birth of a Hive. Recap of the rules and goals are here if you need them. And before we start, I just want to go over some of the problems I'm running into the series and asking for your help if you are definitively positive you know you can. I don't want sort of tips or um, rough ideas. So here's what I need to know. Right now, I'm missing two leaders from the Holy Nation and two leaders from the uh, Traders Guild. Uh, obviously, Longin is one of them, and he's supposed to be in the Traders Guild HQ. He wasn't, and I'm going to kill him this episode by using the character spawner, which is a little anticlimactic. For the Holy Nation, there's two leaders left. There is Colin, who I believe is supposed to be in one of these two military bases, but there's a bug where it fell to Fogman, meaning that he's technically alive, but he doesn't really exist either. Because obviously these two holy military bases are owned by Fogman. Uh, these are up to date. I've recently checked. If you know positively that Colin is supposed to be in one of these two, let me know. And I'll spawn him with the character spawner and kill him because he's supposed to be dead. Um, as for Hadriel, uh, he's in a new town roughly in this area. But I'm not sure where exactly. He can't be character spawned. I need a screenshot of exactly where he is. Please spoil it for me if you know. And not just as a description, I want a screenshot because I went into the I went into the uh, video game editor and looked around this area a long time for the hidden temple that he's supposed to be in and I just simply couldn't find it. I wasted hours or whatever. Uh, as far as um, the United Cities, the one of the nobles in Heft is bugged, Ota. Ota is supposed to be in Heft. Heft is owned by Emperor Peasants. Heft is both alive and dead, according to the console. So I'm just going to ignore the fact that he's even alive. Meaning that after we kill Longin, uh, which will be in just a moment here, um, that essentially everybody in the Traders Guild is conquered. And uh, here's here's how you do it if you if if things get bugged out with Reactive World, which uh, given the bugs that I am encountering now, I'm not sure that I would want to, uh, to use Reactive World again. Uh, but here's how you spawn people. So you go to the Traders Guild, you tell the character spawner, Hey, spawn me Longin. He can only spawn a few characters, he can't spawn everyone. So, for instance, he can't spawn Flying Bull, he just is not able, it's not coded in, or whatever. And then you leave the island, you come back, and this little broken down shack will then be rebuilt, and Longin will be inside. So with that in mind, uh, what I'm going to do is we are, I've pretty much confirmed that both of the factions I started wars with are now dead. I'm going to actually cut through the Black Desert City because nobody in the caravan is um, susceptible to acid quite like Raptor. Let's go ahead and have Raptor sell off the Garu stuff for weapons. So Nadachi, Horse Chopper, what else is there? Foreign Saber and one more item, one more weapon. Combat cleaver. There we are. And we will follow Raptor, because Raptor's legs are falling off. And we're going to go to the bar over here as fast as we can and have Raptor rest. Up to floor one. Put the guard down. And I'm also going to have other the other people that have robotics do a little repair, because they're... Uh, the robotics are not as shiny as they once were. I don't know. Take that gar out of the bed. All right, there we go. So now everybody is uh, everybody will be fine. We're waiting on Raptor to recover, uh, and then the swarm here is going to pick a new fight because why not? The remainder of the United Cities, well, the United Cities are about to be dead. And then the remainder of everybody else is uh, on their way out. Except for possibly uh, Cullen and Hadriel, but um, 
I can summon Cullen, I cannot summon Hadriel, so we'll see if, uh, if I can formally actually conquer them, but it's possible that I can't. And that's fine. Um, I'm not here to fix Reactive World, that's just not my job as a YouTuber, and therefore, if I can't get them to debug, we'll just give it a good old pass. Alright, so Raptor. In the crew, you are going to head back to the Armor King. Use the Armor King's free beds. I'm just watching you so that I know when you're out of the uh, the Deadlands. You're kind of healthy now. Yeah, okay, thanks. All right, come on, don't be stuck. There we go. Don't be stuck now. Other things I need to do back home. Uh, let's grab Osgolo and head on over to the Armorsmith. I'm pretty sure that Armoring Box is probably full. Muhammad, you probably swim. Oh yeah, you definitely swam far enough away. Let's go back to the unusual camp and finish off Longin. All right, Oz. I'm going to grab the Masterworks first and put the Masterworks away into storage. Okay, that's all the Masterworks in that box and in this one. Okay, we have a ton of shirts. Um, now, which means we're probably getting pretty close to being able to, um, finish armorsmithing, at least for a bit. All right, Oz, let's put this stuff away. So there's one, uh, there's a few armor pieces I am missing. I don't have, uh, pants, the plate, hive plate pants. I also don't have hive plate armor, so I'm going to switch... Resnick over to that. Uh, so let's just make leg plates and the heavy armor. What if I could find it? I'm actually going to cancel the soldier armor altogether. All right, so that's what you make, Resnick. Cool. All right, now as Golos handed that stuff off. Caravan's being targeted, uh, probably by Crawl. Let's add the armor that we want to sell to the box here. Really, none of those? Yeah, all those leg plates, none of them are specialist. I mean, masterwork. All right, Ascolo is now nice and full of stuff ready to sell. No, we're right next to the Tower of Ninjas. And they're definitely glitched because the tower is broken. But Boozin and, uh, so, so the reason why I never turn these guys in, they're only wanted by the Holy Nation. Boozin and Dimak. Um, it almost kind of looks like Dimak's blade is back on his shoulders, meaning that there's two copies of the Mato that's supposed to be unique and only one. Which would be, obviously, a big old bug. Um, I'm just going to not go near there, because they're supposed to be dead, or not have their weapons, I don't know. They obviously respawned, and, and that's problematic. All right. Muhammad, how close are you to the island? You are closing in. When he gets there, Longin should be there. And I think I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, you can't pathfind, can you? I think I'm just going to then also summon Colin because I'm I've read through the uh, patch logs of Reactive World and back in November 29th I believe of um, last year you know just three months ago uh, when this series was still running there was a bug where uh, one of the holy military bases that Colin is supposed to be in gets overrun by fog before Colin dies. 
and this was a bug that was patched. So if you're trying this out for yourself and you've started in the last three months, you probably won't have this glitch that I'm running into. However, if you are, um, you know, if you're, if you're Hive Only series or you're trying to destroy the Holy Nation and you started this more than three months ago, uh, you're probably running into the same, like, Cullen doesn't exist bug. And uh, that's a problem. All right, so here we go. The character spawner worked. Open the shack. Wait for the zone to load. Hello, zone. Please load. And there Longin is. All right, let's have a good old duel. You're going to chop off his head, Muhammad? My money's on Muhammad. As we are cutting little pieces off of him. Oh, he's about to be unconscious. Ooh, get a left arm. Oh, man. Almost a left arm hit. All right, so we just murdered him. Uh, Muhammad, guess what? You get to keep his sword because you did so good. Just like every other <clears throat> trader guild leader, we leave him stripped and naked. And then, oh, even the spawn checker. Hey, let me talk to you, man. All right, character spawner, Holy Nation, Cullen. All right, so let's spawn Cullen. Muhammad, your wounds aren't very serious, but do they have... Did uh, Longin have, uh, like, meds on him or something? Nope. Uh, all right, whatever. All right, let's leave the island and come back and 1v1 Cullen. That's going to be a little bit harder of a fight. The uh, the Holy Nation nobles are just sort of naked and vestigial, uh, whereas Cullen is not. Right, checking in on my... Trainers, the people that are supposed to be training. I'm going to hook them up with hauling to a lot more water. Uh, reinforcements from the anti-slavers, Jaeger, and then, of course, the Hive Caravan boss is here. Uh, Dig, how about you have a talk to him and tell him, piss off. Okay, we are at the mouth of the river. Uh, let's follow Hero. Hero, you take us to the Drowned Ruins. Following Hero, because he's the slowest swimmer by, like, a lot. So, four more Edge 3 Blades. Resnick's making the armor. Snowy's still making the chest mail stuff. Someone's getting a targeted here. Oh, really? Hungry bandits? Dust bandits. Well, get wiped. So yeah, I'm sort of waiting here because um, our two arch nemesis, nemeses, uh, the, well, okay, three. The Traders Guild, the Holy Nation, and the United Cities are all about to fall. Uh, in fact, now that Longin is dead, uh, I'd be really interested. Let's send, in fact, um, Dacatist? I'm going to send you to hang. I'm sending Dak because he runs at 50 miles an hour. So, someone can get there quick. It's him. A little dangerous considering he's a pacifist and he has... He won't defend himself, but he should be able to outrun everything as long as I pay attention. Alright, we're coming into the center of this, um... 
Hive Town? Where's all your people? Don't tell me one little gorilla killed you all off. There it is. It just didn't load. Alright, before I end up declaring war on the Western Hive, because I'm not entirely sure you can defeat um, the Western Hive towns. Like, I don't know if they don't... You could probably kill everyone, but since there's no diplomatic leaders, I don't know if they ever... You can ever win, technically, against them. Uh, but what I want to do is check them for blueprints first. Because sometimes they have some unique blueprints that are not going to show up at Black Scratch. Uh, buy some of the uh, Lanterns of Radiance. Because it's not something I can make for myself. Buy your uh, ammo. So I'm literally going to be shooting you with your own bullets. And then, of course, we've got a ton of Western Hivers... Uh, ready to get fought. It's going to be pretty cool. Before we start that off, I want to do the Colin fight, and I want to get my uh, trade caravan um, to the Armor King. Just so that I know they're safe and sound. Alright, Muhammad, how close are you? You are, yep, very, very close. The door's open, though. That's... Come on, load the building. Because I can always try this spawner at some other time. Alright, I can't say that Cullen's here. Let's try the spawner again. Alright, so I'm returning this spot back to normal. I'm going to have Muhammad go rendezvous with the rest of the keepers. And then um, maybe bring over more than just the one. I'll bring over like three people to execute Cullen. Well, if that's the case... Oh, this little idiot wants to fight. Sorry guys, it's really not personal, but, well, no it is. Your hive outcasted my queen, or me, and uh, the punishment for that is death. Or dominance, really, I guess. Alright, so Talon's down, and so is Arella. We are now hostile with the Western Hive, so they should stop bugging me. And their silly trade caravans. Oh, you're trying to swipe Queen. That's not that's not a winning. I'm sort of curious what uh, I do see that we're we're having people get downed. So they're running around with um ugh, I absolutely hate when mods create their own quality um standards it's like there's already you know it'd be like playing a game when they invent a new unit of temperature it's like all right we have fahrenheit we have celsius and now we have like gazorbazorps uh so yeah you have to keep the temperature base between 12 and 82 gazorbazorps or you die and you're like what why did you just invent a new system like just use one that exists you know kenshi has systems for armor quality and weapon quality, and what the hell is basic production? I mean, come on now. Manufactured by Hive Armors Tier 1, that's cool. What is basic production? I have no idea what it is. You made up your own words here. I don't know. I don't know why it annoys me so much, but it really does. Alright, so I think part of the problem with the... Uh, the current group that I attacked them with, um, we have a bunch of trainees that just aren't good, and then we probably have more range than we want. Um, 
in total. Plus, we seem to be attacking big things, which is sort of not the primary target here. Alright, Orange Chaos, if you stop crawling around, I can actually help you. Uh, Caravan, you probably, yes, are indeed at the Armor King's store. I like how they're saying, come and trade, Hive, stop leaving, and yet they're trying to kill me? I don't know. They don't know what's going on. Alright, as far as I could tell, I don't think there's, like, diplomatic status. But Queen just pissed off everybody in there. I don't know if killing the, uh, killing the traitor... Oh yeah, no, he has dip, dip status. Okay, so if he has diplomatic status, it means killing him means that, uh, maybe the town gets crushed? We'll have to, we'll have to see. He's trying to give me sales pitches even though he's telling me to get out. He doesn't know what he wants. Alright, Queen, don't don't leave. Right, go help Beep. I don't think Beep needs help. Alright, so the dude with the diplomatic status we're sacrificing. All you soldier drones, you failed. I'm not really gonna finish off anyone else. I'm not interested in um, salt in the earth here, right? They're just following the wrong monarch. Alright, so beep. Looks like your leg needs a little love. And Hella, go pick up Orange Chaos. Green, pick up beep. Let's go a little north. I'm planning on changing up my roster a little bit before <clears throat> confirming that this collapsed. So it's the one that's just west of the hub. Alright, let's hold, hold up for a second. Muhammad, how are you doing? You are still swimming back. Alright. I'm going to have the, uh, the swarm sit around here for a second just to patch people up. Beeps patched up, Orange Chaos, your leg is so mashed up, you're going to have to be held. Everybody follow Arella. Arella? Um, huh. Let's go east around the fog. We can't go through it, we don't have the masks, but we can go east. I wouldn't mind healing up and stack, getting everyone healthy. All right, hero. Was there a reason for us to force you to swim with those uh, robotic limbs? Specialist. Hi. Nope. Nope. Not even a little bit. All right, everybody follow. Oops, follow hero again. Hero, bring us to the west mouth. So I think the swords here are going to be good to go when, um, yeah. I hope Dazic gets a little bit more uh, speed, run speed. Up to 24, that would be ideal. Before, you know, deploying. Alright, let's get up to the roof of this bar, rent some beds. Who's real wounded? Tildiv. RK. Ron. Jordan. Tell. I don't want to 
uh, have, I don't need to perfectly heal everybody, just enough that I can get home. I'm going to switch my roster out uh, for a slightly heavier armored one, one that isn't, doesn't have uh, such a high percentage of newbies. No offense to the newbies. Speaking of which, Muhammad, you've made landfall. Um, that means the character spawner island should be reset. I'm going to get you to get healed a little bit. You already murdered one of them, so let's send someone else. Ray, Acid, and Thor. All three of you do not have prosthetic limbs, meaning that uh, you should be able to move through the water swiftly. All three of you. Oh, you know what? Let's make sure that we get food on you, though. There we are. And onward. Because we're going through some waterlogged areas. I'm going to uh, just hold Arella. Because Zarella likes to crawl through the water and no one else wants to do that. Alright, the caravan's made it on the other side. So let's follow Cookie. Cookie, you are going to take us home. Osgolo's ready to deploy uh, once you guys get here. See if there's any new armor for us to squirrel away. Or even um, prosthetics. Nope, none new there. Both for junk. And more junk. Well, burn. That's all I can say. Keep running north. Stand east of the fog. So we don't have people suck, you know, get ill. So here's one of the holy military bases that I think Cullen could be in. Again, it's obviously very clearly overrun by fog. And as a result, I think is making Cullen not exist. Ray, Acid, and Thor, you three definitely did not listen to what I told you to do which was to swim out to the unusual camp. I might have to uh, sort of lead them a little bit. Because it's, it's some weird pathing to get all the way out there. Where are you guys? More crawls chosen. Man, they're really all over the place, aren't they? Crawls chosen to lose in melee combat. Ray, Acid, and Thor. Those are live spiders. Uh, who's the weakest swimmer? Oh, boy, there's a lot of live spiders. The strongest swimmer of all three of you, because not all three of you have to go out to trigger the call and spawn. Uh, let's figure that out once I'm able.
Right. Ray, you're definitely not the best swimmer. Actually, your swim speed is fine. Uh, but Thor, I'm going to have you swim over to the unusual camp. Ass and Ray, just pop a squat here and wait for Thor to get back. So Thor is going to swim over there, tell the spawner, hey, give me Colin, and then swim over back to Ray and Acid, and then swim back, and hopefully Colin will appear. If he doesn't, uh, I'm just not even going to bother trying anymore. I'll just be at my wit's end. You know how that is. Alright, Queen, you are returning all the way home. I'm planning on um, sending a new group. I'm going to shuffle the Swarm and the Keepers a little bit, and uh, send a new group out to... Uh, to fight some of the Western Hive. Pretty much anybody... Oh, Swarm, we're being targeted by cannibals. Pretty much anybody that is shooting toothpick bolts. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to train the toothpick bolters. Maybe on a Leviathan or something like that. Just shooting Leviathans for a long, long time. But I don't really want toothpick bolters to be involved in the fight because... Actually, Western Hives are particularly uh, lightly armored, but um, I would... Oh, Pukes is being attacked. Oh, you guys broke from the group and just sort of hung out way, 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 way back where you're not supposed to be. Let me regroup. And there's a bit of a bum fight right over yonder between two sets of cannibals. Screechers and cannibals, okay. Shrieking bandits, I should say, not screechers. The other issue is, of course, the Western Hive all have weapons that are particularly good against animals. So no matter what animal I bring to the fight, uh, they do run the risk of being, you know, sort of massacred a little bit. Um, so my thinking is, I'm going to maybe use a goat instead to carry the uh, sleeping bags and stack the squad with 20 and then just carry the goat and never let the goat touch the ground. And then if the goat does touch the ground, it's like, it's a goat, right? So it's not like the 21st you know, ally the goat's gonna be, yeah, should be fine. Looks like I have some United City Samurai, some or another, chasing me. Conscripts, Sam, yeah, just regular old Samurai. I think these are the guys that survived the uh, giant raid, um, and they just didn't leave. Okay, so the spawner is now broken down, the building, which is a good sign. Let's talk to the character spawner, which... I'm very glad I didn't say send Ray over here, because that would have been a big old waste of swimming. Alright, the spawner dude just disappeared. Come on, spawner. Where are you? They kind of just, like, phase in and out of existence. Hello? Oh, I see you in the floor. No, that's a world state checker. And he's right here. Okay. Please don't disappear. Uh, Holy Nation, Cullen. Let's get back to Acid and Ray. So that means Arella. I need to give up Arella's, um, well, I need to do several things. First thing, I need Arella to dump some of the food out, and we'll, we'll bring boops. Oh god, we have no room. Um, well, Arella trade with crab then? I'm just gonna make the other crab carry all the uh, the meat. All right, Queen. Let's put the dust jacket away.
get the dust coat. Put down Arella. Arella. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with boops. Now, the goat doesn't have the same space that the crab does, but that's not that big of a problem. All right, so pick up boops. Let's put Arella into the ranch, and then Boops. Up into the swarm as the soon-to-be 21st member, a non-combat one. So you are, yeah, already set on passive. And then Boops, you're going to take a bunch of this meat. So that we don't run out. All right, Queen. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's shuffle the roster a bit. Uh, so one thing I need to do: Talon and Nuggles and Pukes. You're just simply not safe to bring, if I'm being honest, because you're not uh, you're you're inexperienced. I hate to say it, but that's. That's the truth. All right, Hella and Frenchie and Green. Uh, Green and Frenchie, you guys could definitely go up from Rangers to uh, Old Worlds. So let's go do that. Your precision and crossbow skills are unparalleled. They're like 100 apiece, right? Um, well, Boro, I really hope you've been making bolts this whole time. If not, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Right, so these old worlds will have a little bit more punching power than the rangers we were um, using in the interim. And I think four bow is enough for me. Uh, I don't need more than that. Queens. Um, yeah, queen. Trade with uh, Oboro. Give Oboro one of these belts. And then trade with Snowy. Nope, Snowy has one. Resnick. Alright, so Green and Hella, you both have drift, Drifter Leathers. Oh no, and Frenchie. So they all have very, very fast attack rate, but they're very vulnerable, so it's, we'll, we'll have to be careful. Uh, yes, it does appear as if... Much like I asked, uh, they were... Um, making bolts the whole time. So I'm going to offload uh, Hello's food over to Driss and Dale. Okay, and then that means Hella, you got room for a lot more bolts. Green, you got room for a lot more bolts. And Frenchie. These are going to be my bowmen of the apocalypse. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Now as far as combat goes, uh, I would like to... So I think what I'm going to have to do is... Tailive, I'm going to have to sub you out. Uh, you need a little bit more strength training. And... Um, Sub in rage. I, I want people that don't have huge penalties to attack. So one of the issues here, like Vris using uh, a weapon. Why is your attack so low? I don't even know. Let's go with mid forties and the like. So okay, I think we're all set. Uh, keepers, who am I going to swap in then? I need to swap in people that uh, have the carry weight. So Troller Sauce, you're going to get moved. Moral Oral, what is our numbers at now? 19, so two more. Or three more, really, because, well, no, two more, 19. So we're going up to 21 because that we're basically saying the, um, the goat don't count. 
Uh, second chance and metal. I want you to. Actually, Moral R, I'm subbing you out as well. I'd rather have you home, and also you're slow. Um, all right, let's see. Other people with high attack defense. Obsidian. Yeah, let's put a Obsidian in. All right, so what is our lowest speed? 24 on Queen, because she's pretty encumbered. Having Queen lead the way would be ideal. It does seem to be the case. Oh, she's also uh, carrying, um, put down, carrying the goat. So maybe Hella pick up boops. All right. Now who's slowest? Got some 26s in there. Yep, one of the 26s. So metal, uh, I'm just going to pick you as the celebratory raid leader here. And we are going to have you lead against... First things first, uh, this is going to take a long trip. No, actually. Where is... We sent Dacatist. Okay. Dacatist can now confirm, I wasn't really paying attention, that... Um, this city has overturned. Hang is owned by Empire Peasants, and Traders Guild is owned by Anti-Slavers. Uh, I actually want to go into the Anti-Slaver HQ. Uh, that means that uh, we don't have to send the Swarm to confirm that. The United Cities is basically kaput. Totally kaputskis. Um, so I'm going to hug the West Coast heading south and start to fight the southern hive or the uh, western hive sorry uh i wonder if this gets filled with any no i don't really see anyone with dipo status no okay well i'm glad that that is done. I'm going to have him now run on over back home. Oh, metal. Maybe I can't have you raid lead if you think water's fun. Follow Vris then. Looks like to me, um, we've got Acid Ray and Thor ready to return to the island. So, follow Acid. And Acid, you're going to go to the usual camp. Neat. All right, Vris, how are we doing? I want you to run along the coast southbound. I also want to uh, swing by the one near stack and to see if it flipped. But that's kind of out of the way. It's this one, obviously. It's very out of the way. Uh, we're going to hit some more on our way. But yeah, I'm very, I'm actually very interested if that's the case. Caravan, you're home. Uh, builders and Raptor. Let's swap the Garu out for Osgolo and maybe the Wild Bull, depending on how much carry we have to do. But let's put the weapons away first. I don't know which Garu has it. Alright, so that's a box full of Edge 3s. Uh, it's getting to a point where I'm not entirely convinced I need to keep running this. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a rest. 
easing up on my CPU briefly. Um, I do want to buy more. I do want to go to the Armor King. Um, but... Yeah. So I wouldn't say it's my last trip. Maybe I'll make one right now. I, I digress. So let's go pick up Osgolo. Builders, let's run Osgolo by the armor. Because there's armor here that if I have space for, I think I do. I want to sell. Alright, that's full enough. Everybody follow Cookie. And Cookie, you're going to lead us... I'm multitasking so much. You're going to lead us back to the Armor King. I don't really care to go to the uh, Scrap House anymore. Because I feel like I have plenty of... Um, Oh, wait up for everybody. I have plenty of weapons. I just don't have a lot of the crossbowman armor stuff. Alright, so we are going to keep doing Armor King runs. Yes, I could stay there, but one of the goals of this whole series was to run a caravan. So that's why I'm running a caravan. You all voted for it. Uh, it's not the only reason. I kind of like it, but it's one of the reasons. Okay, it looks like the shack is constructed, which is a very good sign. Briss, what about you? We are in Shrieker country. Let's keep heading south. I want to get... Um, let's actually head out to the beach. I want to get to a point where these guys aren't in danger. I can ignore them so I can focus on the Colin fight. Which means just getting kind of away from the Shrieking Forest because you can't really be safe near there. Uh, swimming, okay, fine. Uh, here we are. Let's open the cage. I do believe you're Cullen. You look very Cullen like. Well, no mercy, dude. Oh, he teleported through the wall. You know, like you do. Very dead. Ray, silent but dead. Oh, we, okay. We He doesn't have an execute button, but the makers of this island had the uh, beautiful foresight to um, to allow you to just stick him into a uh, peeler machine and that will kill him. I'm just, I, I need to watch. You know, I need to make sure he dead. So this is what the... Uh, the peeler machine does, it just rips off your limbs. He's about to lose a left arm. He lost all his gear. It's pretty brutal. Maybe I should have given a gore warning. Alright, one arm's gone. Now that uh, his other arms are deep in the negatives, it's going to be the head and chest. Legs gone. Once the chest hits negative 100, he's just done for. Alright, all limbs are gone. And he's dead. Just blood loss. Critical. Well, alright then. Uh, we're done with that. Let's go swim back. So, that just leaves Hadriel. If you know where Hadriel's supposed to be, I can go check. As I said in the beginning of the episode, I need a screenshot of exactly where. I don't I don't want to go on a wild goose chase. Um, but that means that all of the United Cities, the Traders Guild, and almost all of the Holy Nation are um, really, truly gone. All right, Vris. You're going to lead us into this high village. So this is a... Um, before my last time I invaded a high village, I did have some uh, chaos on my, my side. I feel like I changed some of the... the uh, squad makeup, and we have a slightly stronger squad uh, coming into this fight. 
also want to check in on Dak. Make sure Dak Dak is... Oh, if he's operating machine, it means he's sitting on his... Oh, man, you're so fast. Okay. Should have just had faith he'd get there, but... Uh, Troller Sauce, let's put you in front of Boops. Hello. You know we're enemies, right? So this is also, um, in my opinion, really, really good practice. The queen. The queen? Yes, the queen. This is really good uh, combat practice in order to get better uh, and be prepared to take on some of the more dangerous enemies in the game. Uh, which we are heading into the end game now. Alright. Nuggles, Talon, and Pukes. Uh, you were really not supposed to be here. Good luck getting home on your own. They, I guess they still had the follow order, and it messed up and they followed me. They really shouldn't have. Alright, so the trader is somewhere in here. We do have Beep that's out again. I feel like he... I'm going to get rid of Taunt on him. He tends to get knocked out often. I'm going to have Queen go patch him up a little. And actually pick him up. Alright, so the traitor's in this one. He is this guy. He used the diplomatic status. And because I'm, I'm sooner going to kill him and then I can leave and come back, I want to see about flipping these towns. I want to see about changing ownership or having them fall to ruin or whatever. Which means killing this uh... Oh, there he is. Second chance. We've killed their traitor. So we did have Dale get knocked out. Uh, Frenchie, go pick him up. Alright, now that they're missing a Diplo leader... I'm going to back off of, let's head southwest. I'm going to back off of this um, high village altogether. Oh, delirious, you need a lift too, don't you? You were left behind and you have greens coming to rescue you. All right, let's just regroup here. Is this a patrol? No, it's cannibals. Alright. Everybody in Keepers should be over here. I'm just going to order it again. These guys are still swimming, but they're getting pretty close. Alright. I'm going to follow Queen. Queen, you are just going to get away from that uh, village there. The high village. And then return to see if it falls. I, in truth, don't know if that's how it works. Pukes, Tail Div, and Nuggles. I don't know what your deal is, but... We're going to have you swim home. Uh, everybody, of you three, everybody follows Pukes. I think he's probably the slowest. Not particularly safe, but I accidentally left them on follow, so. This be the uh, the consequences. Alright, I don't think there's anywhere to rest here. Uh, I can pop a camp. Well, let's, let's keep exploring. But I can pop a camp if I need to. Boops. I brought Boops along because Boops has the uh, a ton of uh, sleeping bags. One for everybody. Oh, this is like a dead cat village. Gatherer village. Okay. 
Let's go camp out on this peninsula. Actually, kind of a pretty place to settle down. Camping. Probably that's enough beds. I'm going to venture a guess. So, boops. And... Alright, so our beds are set up, even if Delirious is, uh, what's going on with you, Delirious? You, like, sort of don't exist? There we are. Okay, that's a very strange way to sleep, but who am I to judge? Alright, so some of these beds are on slanted enough surfaces, I just simply cannot interact with them. Which is a bummer. I think those beds are gone for good. Right, those guys seem to be doing just okay. Pukes keep leading them home. Alright, beep, you're healed. Dale, you're healed. Anyone healed, go stand over here. I'm not going to count little scratches like Green has. Or Frenchie. They're good enough. This is like, if they're grievously wounded. Alright, Delirious. I might have to do a load and save on him, because he's all sorts of buggy. He doesn't seem to... Oh, no. He can walk now. Wasn't able to before. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to ditch two of these sleeping bags because I can't seem to even click on them. And that's everybody. All right, let's dismantle the camp. I uh, can go into the menu. Oh, even really? Even when I uh, make the sleeping bags float. Select the camp bed. Dismantle. Oh, that's a good workaround. All right, Queen. Oh, one of those sleeping bags disappeared into the earth. Nice. Some real path glitching here. Uh, well, I tried to nav mesh tool up. The item, but I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just, it's just one bed. I can afford one bed. Loss. It's not a big deal. I'll replace it at some point. All right. So now we're done. Resting up. Everybody follow Vris. Vris, you're gonna head back to the high village. See if it flips. So if it doesn't flip, uh, what this would mean is I only need to kill the Western Queen, and I could ignore all the other hives. There's like dozens of them all over the, all of the map. And then if it does flip, it means I need to crush each western hive one by one it does give me really good um toughness armor dodge weapon training that kind of stuff so it's not pointless it is good uh combat experience to be able to then take on bigger and tougher enemies um and this will be the last thing i do this episode is just figure out
if uh, this Western Hive, it looks very much existing. Okay, well then, that answers that. Um, what about the rest of everybody else that needs to return home? The rest of the keepers. I think Pukes and Talon are right at the... Nuggles, for whatever reason, is constantly falling behind. I think deciding to swim is the problem. So I'm just going to wait just one more minute to wrap this all up. So just to, just to recap, if you know exactly where Hadriel's supposed to be, um, and I can check it quickly and effortlessly, I would love to do that to make sure that I've killed every single possible uh, enemy of the hive as I can. It looks to me like the Western Hive villages can't be destroyed. So that means next episode, maybe I make a play towards the Western Queen. And then after the Western Queen is dead, I'll take a look at the goals to see what's left on them. If you have any other tips, tricks, feedback for me, anything of that nature, please drop me a line. I, I love your feedback. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Adios, friends.